Recently, we opened up some mystery boxes in a previous video from m and Holding and found out that they were a scam. They were terrible. There was the same exact two booster packs in every single one. We had three of the same V cards. It was a bad time. Those were from a little while ago and they'd been sent by a viewer from like a year ago. So these mystery packs, I just found like this month over at Walgreens for $10, you get one booster pack and one foil card. It could be anything. It could it, be fossil. Well, I don't even care about that. I just want to know, are these going to also be a scam? I can be the happy <laughs> and you can be the bad cop. All right, I'll be the bad cop, you be the good cop. You can look at for the good side of things and I'll be like, Melanie, this sucks. There might be some good and honest people that put these things together that might actually put something more than vivid voltage or darkness ablaze. All right, so these here do say one in 10. I did not get 10. They didn't have 10 at the time, so we have six packs. So it might not be a fair or like uh, sample size here. It may not be a fair sample size, but you get one booster pack, one foil card, and they also, once again, have gym challengers on the front of this pack, yep. so. It says chase packs, one in 10. Yep, so. What I'm, all could that be? <laughs> I mean, I would imagine something older than Dark Price, Sun, and Moon. Something older than Sun and Moon would be a chase pack. All right, let's see what we get in the first one. Like I said before, these are also from M&J Holdings, so if you didn't, check out our last video. We went through a lot of stuff and we were not impressed with what we got out of that. What is this? This one is in Evolving oh, Skies. That's cool. Which that's, is nice. That's not it's at least different from the last ones we had. I want to see what kind of foil card we get in this. It's not sleeved or anything in here, so that's not so great. So it's all scratched up. There's a Genesect, and yeah, it's scratched up. I don't know how easy it is for you guys to see. I, mean, I can see scratches over here. These are called penny sleeves. Like, they're cheap. Yeah, and if you get like a V card, which I doubt there's going to be any major V cards or anything in these, like at least for the foil card, I imagine you're just going to have rares like that, you know? But. And he's from Vivid Voltage. Yeah, you're probably not gonna get any like old ones either, so. All right, what can we get out of it? Evolving Skies has some cool stuff. If you got like a Moonbreon, Moonbreon's like a $400 card, I think. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, and I have I have yet to get one of those, so that would be really cool. Uh, Lisa. All right, we have Zinnia's Resolve and a Regilecki Hollow. Holographic though, I mean, that's nice. I can get these. Right. Let's see here. Hey, at least inside is not like a code card, you know? Sure, sure. It is better this time. I mean, getting a hollow. Hollows are typically worth more than a code card, so that's nice. Another Evolving Skies, okay. I mean, it's a better set so far of the Sword and Shield set. And a, hey. Celebrations restroom. <laughs> Which we so, only have like 50 of those. Yeah, that's not even one of the, the bigger ones of those or anything, so. I feel like that's in every single pack. What if? <laughs> the Genesect might have been the rare one, you know? I know, of, what if what they put Celebrations getting? in every single one because that's the easiest holographic sure. to get to. Every Celebration has four hollows in it, so. Forgot these show. Creep, <coughs> drowsy, scraggy, fierce. Slack off and yep. Stoutland. All right. Yeah, our local Walgreens did not have too many more of these, so I got all that they had. Good, you may have saved some people some money. We get a fusion strike in this one. Hey, that's different And though. another Celebrations. This is Xerneas, also not a rare. Like, I mean, sure, a rare, I suppose, but not like a, one of the hard ones to find a Celebration. You like, know? I feel like a kid that doesn't know anything about Pokemon would be excited to see that, you know? Sure, yeah. But I don't want them to be taking advantage of them at the same time, you know? Oh, 100%, I don't think that's fair at all. All right, we have Heatmore, Cook, Morgrim, Zorua, Shelter, Caterpie, Drover, Shinx, Rotom. Okay. And 
Starmie. Cool. All right, let's try another one. <coughs> At least that one was a different set. Sure. Which is better than it being the same thing every time. All right. Oh, fusion. Fusion strike again, okay. And the hollow being another celebrations? Yes. Another celebrate of a Zekrom, yeah. Yep. Now, I do wanna hear from you. If you buy any of these packs and have had something good, that'd be cool. But more than likely, you did not. Sure. I, I want to hear about that though. I have seen on like Reddit where people have said that they've opened like two of them and gotten like fossil packs out of cards, out of packs and stuff before. And I'm like, okay, so like they are around, but I don't think it's one in 10. You know what I mean? I think it's, I just want to see variety. I want to see some differences. Yeah. I want like, some responses. Like I, I want to know like. There's, there's very little information on what they classify as a chase pack too, you know? Yeah. Like help your friends out. Serena V. Help your friends out. Like if we help pass the word around of, hey, these were all duds. Six packs, all duds. Sure. When you get like people that are buying them and opening 10 packs, 20 packs. Yeah. You're like getting a bigger sample size of, man. Ah. Epic Keeps... fail. There we go. All right, what we got? This one is a, another fusion strike and a, Zekrom, not even a different Seriously. celebration. Dang. All right. Like, at least after you make your packs and everything, shuffle them around before you distribute them to different school uh, stores and whatnot. Sure, you know? yeah. Well, and like you said, like maybe kids would enjoy this and stuff, but also it's, you know, it's $10 for most of these are looking at like a $4 pack. You're not, you're not looking at anything too big. So like they're making their money back on all these, especially if you're filling the hollow slot with a celebration card that, you know, every single pack. I mean, they're like doubling their money because they bought these for $4 a piece, you know, and sure. then they were charging 10. No, I mean, if you saw our uh, celebration openings that we did, you would see how many Zekroms and, uh, Reshrams, Lugias, Kyogres, you know, all those mm -hmm. kind of cards that we got. Like these cards are basically commons. So they're not technically, I mean, they're technically hollows. They're, yeah, hollows and rares, whatever, so, but. All right, well, this is the last one of these we have, so. And it is a surprise. Shining Fates? Hey. Or the Hidden Fates? Shining, Shining Fates? Fates. That's a reverse hollow. <laughs> That's neat. It's like, it's like, hey, it's something different, but we're gonna give you even less than this. But Shining Fates, that, that's... I mean... It's not $10. Um, how much is a Shining Fates? Like, we should look at that. I don't have my... Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, never mind, I'm not gonna look at it now. <laughs> Doesn't... Oh, we're doing the trick. Fancy tricks. Card tricks, boom. Nikki, Rowlet, Pinch, Boss's Orders. Ooh, Ooh, and a Skyla. Skyla. That's a really cool card. That's the Winner. best pack out of the six we got. I don't know if I'd classify Shining Fates though as a um, as a chase. chase pack though, you know? It's a chaser. <laughs> like it's still in the same set as, or same series as the other ones that we've opened up and everything too, so. Um, but we had more variety in those six packs that had one booster pack than all those mystery packs that we had before, so. I know, and we had nine of those. I wouldn't say that this is great, but I'm, I may be willing to try them again to see if a bigger sample size gives us a better feeling of is there like gym challenge or even going back to like X and Y, it's it, like those are harder sets to find. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll look at these some more, um, especially that way you don't have to get cards and buy these mystery packs or be wanting to buy the mystery packs thinking you get something that you don't get. And you don't. Yeah. We're don't just... here to help you. Yeah. All right, guys, um, that's it. Uh, I think the best card we got was that Sky Skylar? Skylar? I think it's Skyla. Skyla card, so. Why, Erin, because she's a redhead? Well, of course. Well, thank you for watching. I'm hoping that this will help you out in the future so then you do not go out and buy any of these packs unless you really, really want to just to see that there's no chance. What happened? But until next time. Oh.
Feel, feel your, your Pokemality. Bye. <laughs>